Hi! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a haul for you today and so does my sister Kezia. And um, we were talking about the last time we, we did, did a haul together, together and, and it was, was like a, a year ago. ago. <laughs> It's like this time last year Just and um, yeah, so we're going to show you guys some stuff that we bought uh, We initially went out to buy some essentials some basics Ended up walking out with the entire shopping centre Yeah <laughs> Like literally it. <laughs> Every store we went into we walked out something Yeah, it was really really bad But then we felt like treating ourselves Yeah um, Yeah, it was, it's always nice to treat yourself, you know Save up, save up, save up and then just Spoil. splurge Yeah so, we're going to start with the beauty stuff. So, Kia's going to share with you her beauty bits and bobs, and then I'm going to share mine, and then we're going to share some exciting fashion items that we bought. Okay. So, off you go. All right, then. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is um, what I got from Mac. Mac. Mock. Mac. Mock. <laughs> from Mac. Um, I love Mac. So, yeah, I bought these two makeup brushes. It's the 224 blending brush. Um, oh gosh, I love it. I've wanted this for a while now because she always uses mine. Yeah, and I have one blending brush, but I need to just because I need one to blend my concealer. So I thought might as well get another one. And how much is that? I think it's twenty-two. Isn't it? Twenty-two. Twenty-two pounds. I didn't check. I just picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> and I also got the one hundred and nine brush. Um, this is more for. It's a multi-purpose brush. Yeah, it's, it's one is. of my favorite ones. Yeah, I've seen Shirley use it, and I was just like, well, that looks quite good. So yeah, I'm, I can't wait till I try these out. And I also got the, last time I said transparent, but it is transparent. Oh, they've changed it. Yeah. Mine says translucent. Yeah, basically it's a translucent finishing powder. And that's what it looks like. I love the packaging. It's got those like yeah. sparkles on it. Mac are just amazing, aren't they? Yeah. And so this is just to set the foundation after. I tried um, Shirley's on the other day and I just love the way it left my makeup. So I was like, I'm definitely getting this. So yeah, that's it. I'm just kind of like packaging. And I also bought the Fix Plus. This is quite small compared to the natural, the, it's natural. The original one, but the one I have, the one Shirley has with, basically. Fix Plus is good for yeah. pigments and um, just to set your makeup and but, also to refresh your skin. Yeah, but I, I just wanted to try it out. Which is because why I yeah, one. that's why I got the small one. And it was seven pounds, so it's yeah, too bad. yeah. And um, also, uh, why well, can't I speak properly? Now you know how it feels. Yeah, sorry. I always <laughs> she's just, every the time I take me. the look out of Shirley's head. She, when I'm recording, I'm like, oh, this is this, and then she's right behind the lens and laughing her head off and taking the look out of me. Now you know how it feels. <laughs> it's hard work. I just put. Anyway, um. I got the Ardell lashes. Yeah. Um, I recently started wearing false lashes, and um, so I've taken them out, but I couldn't place them back properly. So yeah, these are five pounds. You can get them from. I got mine from Superdrug, but you can get them from Boots as well. I think for about five pounds or so. Those are the one one zeros. The yeah, the one one. Yeah, the natural looking ones. Yeah, and I also I've got, got them in. Oh, is that what you're wearing? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, they're nice. And I also got um, the Sleek Contour Kit in dark. Yes. I've noticed that sometimes when I wear my foundation, my face does look a bit kind of like flat. Is that the word, yeah. the word to describe it? And, yeah. like, and that just adds dimension. That, yeah, it does add dimension to it. Not, I don't put a lot because, you know, I'm not a runaway in that. So I just put just a little bit. So, yeah, and also onto skincare. Now, I like experimenting with facial products on my face um she's lucky she can she's got like uh, amazing skin and she can literally use anything <laughs> whereas i'm the opposite like if i use the wrong thing i break yeah. out i do break out once in a while but not as often but yeah i decided to i've used garnier before but i always change my my facial washes every once in a while so when this is done i pick up another one so yeah um i just finished us using neutrogena and I got bored of it because I think my skin's already used to it. So I'm back to Garnier and I've got this one. It's the Fresh Essentials Grape Water Cleansing Gel. It smells really nice and it's quite, I like the way it. I love the makeup, I make makeup remover from that range. Oh really? I have it. Okay, good. that's good. And I also bought a toner. I haven't been using a toner on my skin, but I do find sometimes it leaves like, leaves like a 
some sort of residue. You know, like sometimes when you wash your face and mm -hmm. just apply cream, every yeah. once in a while it's good to use a toner. And yeah, I also got this Aveeno facial wash. Okay, so I thought, you know, I've got this one and I saw this. I love Aveeno cream. If any of you don't know, I'm sure all of you know about Aveeno, but it's absolutely amazing moisturiser. So I thought, when I saw the facial um, wash and facial rage, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm going to get it. Even though I've got the Garnier, but I still got it because eventually that's going to finish anyway. Like that's one's a gel wash and this one's more than a custodian. Yeah, so. so I can like move around. And this one is the, the, brightening one. the daily brightening moisturiser in SP15. So it's yeah, used it's to... sun protection factor. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not a shade. That's what I meant. <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and also I got myself some facial wipes. Um, I need to take off my makeup. I bought the Johnsons as well, but I don't have it here. But I don't like the way it leaves this like oily residue, and I don't like that it. That one's too oily. It's just too oily. So personally, for me, I'm not saying it's not good. So I just thought to get that. Skin. Yeah. So I bought myself simple, and um, oh. I got myself this. I need a new fragrance. I have, um, I have a couple of fragrances, but you know, sometimes it's good. What did you say? Then? Sometimes it's good to alternate. Mm -hmm. Whatever you call the word. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's Nina Ritchie. Oh my gosh, Richie Ritchie. Yeah, it's so. It smells so nice. I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my god, I've got to get it. So yeah, that's it. I got it from the perfume shop. And how much is it? Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine. It's originally I think forty or fifty. Fifty. But I got for thirty and I was like, you know, yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna go and grab it. So I yeah, I love it as well. It's so pretty, don't you think? It's got this little box. And they have such nice adverts on TV. Yeah, and it's got like the moisturizer as well, so yeah. I use this when I'm going out somewhere, like like on a night out or going to dinner, somewhere quite I won't wear it every single day because I've got some others back home. Um, and yeah, that's my beauty. I do. Oh, and hair, hair rods. I've got some. These are for Powerland. I don't need Powerland. I need to cut my hair whenever. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. Um, that's my beauty stuff. I'm gonna show you mine now. Um, mine are mainly from Mac because you guys know I love Mac, and there have been a few brushes that I've been meaning to get. Some I already have. And I just want duplicates just because I can use them for many different things. And some I've just been wondering about and I wanted to try. So I got myself, I'll show you the ones I already have. Um, I have the 217. 217 is an amazing brush for blending eyeshadow. You can also use it for concealer, but um, I like it to blend my eyeshadow. And I've got uh, two already. I know, and I just decided to buy myself another one because I just love it. It's my favourite brush from MAC. Um, I also got the 224, just like Kezia. This is good for blending eyeshadow and concealer. I have one that I want to use for concealer, and I also want to use this one for eyeshadow, just so I can, you know, have two different ones. And I also got another 266, which is just an angled brush. I hope you can see on this thing. You probably can't. And then I got a pencil brush. This is the 219. I have the 219 but I've lost it so I had to get another one and then this is a brush it's a new brush I've never seen it before but then um, when I did come across it I thought it was quite interesting I did, I did want to try it it's the 130 and it's a duo fiber brush um, I think it's more for blending in foundation um, you can use it on cream products as well I believe like cream um, blushes um, concealer even and um, I am quite interested in um, finding out how this works out. Um, so yeah, those are the brushes I got. The 130, 217, 219, 266 and 224. I also got myself two new matte palettes. And I'll show you my old one. Basically, this one I've had for two years. And I took off the plate that was on there. And I was able to fit in quite a lot shadows um usually they fit 15 and i think i was able to fit in 25 or 26 um, but then my eyeshadow collection has grown a little bit more and i thought to invest in two new palettes and also i miss the way they looked with the plates in so i put them in here purely because i wanted to show you 
the video so extra i know but <laughs> no. that's my middle name Shady extra, yeah. so yeah that's the new one and in this palette i have my neutral colors you know me i'm a very big fan of neutral eyeshadows and yes. i just love these they're really nice yeah because you have a few favorites you yeah want to try, don't you? i love antique I think I'm definitely going to get that. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And also, all that glitter is a nice one. That, that, yeah. And um, I love this brand. I don't know the name, but yeah. But I'm getting the hang of my Mac Mage eyeshadow name. So, it's so, yeah. yeah. So, I've got three new eyeshadows. Um, I got Brown Down, which is a uh, matte brown. I also got Orb, which is a pinky cream, but it's matte, so I'm going to use that for highlighting. And then I've got all the glitters because Kezia has all the glitters and it's a really nice eyeshadow mm. and I thought I'd try it. Um, so yeah, that's my neutrals palette. And right here I have my colours palette. Um, I have 15 other shadows in here. So right now I have a total of 30 eyeshadows by MAC. I've been building my collection for three years. Um, so this is the colours. I have a few um, blues, brown, um, blues, oranges, pinks. And I think this is more of a summer palette. Oh, one just fell. Stay. That's and um, yeah, so this this is this one. If you'd like an updated um, matte palette video, let me know down below. Something else I want to show you guys. Um, I got this quite a while ago, but then I thought just to include it in this video. is my new Laura Mercier uh, foundation primer. This is a hydrating one. And I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I really love it. Um, it just like gives a really flawless, flawless base and fills in the pores. And um, when the foundation goes on, it stays on longer. Um, so yeah, I didn't used to use a primer um, much before, but then I'm very big on it right now. And this one's one of my favorites. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. So onto the clothes. You wanna show them what you got, Miss Kezia? Let's get started. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> but yeah, um, the first um, item I'm going to show you are these pair of jeans I got from Topshop. I absolutely love them. I love the wash and everything. I don't have, they're kind of like greyish, aren't they? How could yeah, you just acid wash. Acid wash, yeah, but obviously. Blue acid wash. Blue, yes, I meant blue. Did I say grey? That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're blue acid wash jeans and they're very soft actually it's called the super soft skinny yeah i tried them on and they feel so nice and how much of them they were this was 38 pounds from top shop but yeah i got them for 34 or so for the student discount because i love stuff top shop for that but yeah um <laughs> next <laughs> yeah let's not get into that <laughs> yeah yeah it is bad isn't it yeah you know what I mean. Go <laughs> <laughs> to Top Shop and find it yourself. <laughs> but yeah, I also, oh god, I got this dress. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's a plaid um, dress. Yeah, uh, I got it from Arc. It's a store here in Nottingham. And yeah, I just, when I saw it, it reminds me so much of the dress Rihanna wore on X Factor when she performed We Found Love. I loved her outfit. I thought she looked amazing, and she yeah, had Alexandra McQueen. Yeah, yes. the Alexandra McQueen dress, and yeah, she wore them with the creepers. But the, when I when I tried the dress and I had my dots on, and I thought they looked really nice. They look nice with the dots. Yeah, they do. So yeah, I'm gonna wear that. I can't it's wear so docks. They look so horrid on me. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, <laughs> they really do not. <laughs> yeah. But they do. I can't wear. I can't rock them the way some girls do, and the way Kezi does. It's really sad. <laughs> but yeah, um, what else did I need, need to show? Oh yeah, that's it really. Oh yeah, my shoes. I bought myself a pair of heel, black heel pumps. I'll be looking for these. Every, not looking, but yeah, I needed to get them anyway. So basically, here they are. <laughs> look how nice they look. Yeah, um, I needed some because I don't have that many heeled shoes and I don't know why. And so I recently just started walking in heels. But I'm not bad, I'm good. Yeah, but yeah, um, I was going to order some off ASOS for 50 or so, but these are 25, so this was definitely, I couldn't believe it. So yeah, I got these and I love them. Where are they from though? They are from, that's a good one, sorry guys, I'm really bad at this. They're from Garage Shoes, there's a, also a store here in Nottingham. They do have an online uh, store, because um, um, I was looking on their website the other day. Yeah. GarageShoes.co.uk, I think. Yes, okay, so that's good, I didn't know that. But yeah, um, and also... 
basically Shirley's got the brand one of these. I'm gonna show you in a minute. And oh gosh, this is gorgeous. It's a black bag. We all need a nice black hand bag. Sorry guys. I'll get it as well. I've already got the brown one. It's really nice. It's um it's 40 pounds from Zara. And do you know what's so funny? We, uh, we went, I went there today and I didn't see it again. Yeah. These After bags, they, they come literally. and they literally fly it's, out. So yeah, it's cool. cool. So once you see it, buy it and then think yeah. about it later. Yeah. Um, it's like, yeah, yeah, you know one of those things. You just have to because it's Zara and they go away so quickly and then you hear about people really wanting to buy um, bags and not being able to find it. So yeah she bought that and i think i'm, I'm hoping they're gonna have more because i want to get the black one as well i have the brown one yeah i'll show it to you actually yeah, sure. yeah. i've been wearing it i already have a photograph of my blog with it um this is the brown version and oh, it's so that. good for 40 pounds um last season they had another one which i really wanted but i was really thinking it was 90 pounds you yeah. can justify paying 90 pounds for it i paid that much for a black bag which is really strange with me yeah. a black pair of shoes but i was thinking I don't know. But then when when I saw it's this, gorgeous. I just had to have it. It's, it's such really a nice, nice design. I think it's a lot nicer than the other one, if I'm being honest. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. Um, and um, it's cheaper as well, so it's less it's than so half the price. And um, I have all of my stuff in it. It's become it's my massive. everyday bag. It's got my uni, um, notebooks, a scarf, umbrella, it's got it's everything in there. Mary Poppins in there. Do you can think out loud? I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, oh. It's massive. But yeah, that's my brand bag. Um, is that it for your fashion stuff? Should I go on to mine? Um, yeah, that is really. Okay, so I do have some more things from Zara. And um, I love Zara for one reason. When they do sales, they are genuine. And you're going to find some amazing stuff in there. Um, everyone else just puts out the really rubbish stuff. Um, but Zara, I mean, amazing. Like, I love their sales. So I got this dress. And it's just such a lovely orange dress. I'm so into my dresses at the moment and I think it was 40 something pounds and it, was, it came down to 19.99 or something wow. and it's so nice it's so elegant so simple I love simple um, looking things and it's got this exposed zip on the front and it's got two pockets and I tried it on and it just grazes below the knee so it's something that I can wear with a pair of tights or without tights and um, it's really really nice such a really pretty one. I also got myself this green really amazing top That's nice. it's like a jersey top it's so nice but then the back is made out of chiffon wow oh, that's nice. really nice you didn't see when I picked this up did you no, no. Um, yeah, I was still. See, Shirley has these things when you go into the store, you look around, you won't find anything, but she has this eye. It's kind of like she sees things. Like she could look at a, a rack of clothes and just pick up the good one without even. But yeah, this was £19.99, so £20. And it's a dress. And um, obviously, because it's chiffon on the back, you have to wear something underneath it. But I'd probably wear like a simple black tank top and leggings or a pair of jeans. It's very nice and it's color. such a beautiful colour. Bottle nice green. Color. And it was 19.99. Amazing. Now you guys are not going to believe my next purchase. They are a pair of beautiful orange, orangey nude, I'd say, heels. And these were this one. Guess how much? 12.99. 12.99 for these. They are gorgeous. They're like court shoes, and I love Zara sort of court shoes. I have a black pair, and um, these were originally 25.99, and they came down to. $12.99 and I thought to myself I'm going to buy it because if I don't buy it it's going to go and then I'm going to regret not buying it and they look really nice on. I can't wait till spring comes around and I'm going to be wearing these. And then the last thing I've got from Zara is this amazing jumper. This reminds me so much of Barbara, version <laughs> B. Um, she has lovely jumpers like this and she also likes speckled detail. And I thought it was really nice. And this was on sale from $45.99 to $19.99. How amazing is that? And also, on the elbow, it's got this really lovely shiny gold catch. Um, this would look just amazing with a pair of jeans and some boots. And it's got a speckle on it, so I really, really like that. Oh, and then just a few things I got from Topshop. Um, I got myself this legging. Um, 
it was £25 and it's got the leather detail on the waist and down the sides and then I got myself this maroon scuba diving inspired top which is the exact same as the purple one I showed you in my New Year's Eve video and it is down to £10 from £25 which is so cool I love burgundy and I love purple and it's just such a nice top I'm going to use the other one for night out and I'll probably wear the, this one during the day and so that's pretty much it for my haul of our haul Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video and um, thumbs up this video for my special guest Kezia <laughs> and um, if you'd like to see her in more videos comment below. Are you going to make a channel at some point? Yeah, I probably will. Kezia's not really a fan of I'm YouTube. Really, well, she is a fan of YouTube. But I'm YouTube really videos, lazy. But she just really can't be busy. But I just need a time. I've been really busy with like work settling in and I'm just getting taken away by the freshers year and uni. So. But yeah, I will start. Yeah, I'm to start. Yeah, she has started. Um, but um, hopefully she starts. She said yeah. she's going to try and start this year. Yeah. So fingers crossed. That's if you guys want me there. Right. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will speak to See you guys. soon. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.